What is up guys, Colin aka Connor Brancher and today I'm going to be ranting about Spider-Man 3. Yep, movie rant today and today my movie rant is Spider-Man 3. Now I finished Spider-Man 3 on Friday and I told you last week when I rant about Spider-Man 2 which was last Monday I, I would rant about that and I and I did. And I mean and I, I am right now. By the way, I had to, re I had to restart this video two times because I got a call just now so I'm restarting it so anyway um, Spider-Man 3 was a pretty good movie however Peter Parker and Harry um, who were friend good friends in the first two movies how have different mood changes in, the, in this movie because they're they have a slight mood change because they are very shady characters now remember at the end of Spider-Man 2 Mar Mary Jane and Peter became a couple and and, and there's a, a scene in Spider- and um and Peter, Peter's life is going pretty good. He's still, he's still, he's still on his cool, he's still on his cool moped riding through town, minus the pizza job that he got fired from the last in the last movie. And um, he's still top of top of his class in, in the university. There's a new a girl named Gwen Stacy in this class. Um, I'll get to later, along with Eddie Brock and all that. And um, so anyway, Peter shoots 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 up a web in one scene, and Peter and Mary Jane, you know, lie down because they're a couple. And then she's shooting stars and then all that. And also, Mary Jane is still a Broadway performer, and she's performing in this Broadway themed show. And Peter's watching her in the audience. And um, Harry's there too. However, at the end of the show, Peter tries to talk to Harry and say, like, hey, hey, what, 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 wasn't she great and all that? What, wasn't she great? But Harry, but Harry just leaves and he's like, you, he, he, said, he says this a lot in the last movie. He's like, Peter. You kill my father, and then he just leaves. And Peter's like, "I swear, I swear, Harry, Harry, I, I, Harry, I swear, Harry, I swear, I, I swear, I care about your father. I swear, I care about about your father very much. I swear." But but Harry just leaves, and then Mary Jane comes out and says, "So do you think I was good? Why, why, I didn't see you, I didn't see you, I didn't see you clapping or or or, or hooting and hollering while I was performing." Peter was like, "I did. It, 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 it's the acoustics, and this is from from what he learned in his um." Science class with Dr. Connors. By the way, Dr. Connors only has one arm because it's something I read on IMDb. I have to read on um on um um I IMDb again because I, I I read the trivia about Spider-Man three earlier today in my world history class and, I, and I'm gonna do it again. Read on IMDb the trivia of why Dr. Connors only has one arm. Um, but anyway, he says it's the acoustics and then like. It, it keeps the sound waves from prop, prop, propagating or something like that, so that's why Mary Jane, Mary Jane couldn't hear him um, applauding or clapping or something like that. But anyway, um, anyway, the I I'm trying, to, I'm trying to put the events in chronological order, but the scene that I remember the most is Peter and Harry's fight scene because there was one part where um, where Peter wasn't really there for Mary Jane when she needed help the most, and because um, there was also another scene where um, Gwen Stacy, who was Eddie Bro who was Eddie Brock's girlfriend, was doing her modeling job on the top of a building, like, mm, oh, I'm so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna imitate. And then there was a, photog a photographer, like, yes, yes, make the move, do that, do that, just say, say pose, doing the, doing, and then doing that. And then he sees a moving bar in the background, like a, a moving bar coming toward them, and he's like, hey, what's that thing doing in my background? And then Gwen Stacy poured. And that metal bar literally comes crashing into the building, and boom, and boom, the built the, the a floor boom, boom, it um, um, it collapses, it boom, like it collapses, and boom, like stuff. Then it starts sliding, and stuff starts flying out on, onto the ground below, and then boom, like, and then Gwen Stacy um trembles up the building, and she and she hangs on for dear life, and then um Peter Parker who who do um um disguised in the Spider Man, who disguises in the Spider Man, he go he goes, um he swings and saves Gwen Stacy right when she's about to drop off the building when a a desk a nearby desk flies into her face like boom and then she flies off the building. Peter sa Peter saves her and then they share a kiss you know um the next day during a parade that they celebrate for Spider Man. So yeah, it was a a pretty good day for Peter Parker, yeah, because he was like, yeah, this is a good day for me, because I'm Spider-Man, oh yeah, oh yeah, however, um, Peter and Mary Jane are supposed to meet later for dinner, 
um, that night, and Peter want, Peter wants to, wants to propose to um, Mary Jane, and um, she uh, well first he goes to um, he go, he goes to his Aunt May for advice. Remember Aunt May? You should if you've seen the first two movies because she was she's in all she's in all of them, um, and Mary. Um, Aunt May ends up giving Peter a ring to give to Mary Jane. She's like, she 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 gives her old wedding ring that she, she that, she, that she, Uncle Ben gave her before you know what he passed, and then she said, speaking of which, I have to get I have to get something because there's another villain I almost forgot. Um, she's like, Peter here. Give her this, and 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 she gives her her old ring to Peter to give to Mary Jane. So that's a success. However, I mean, as so we all think, but um, there's another villain that I almost forgot. His name is Flint Marco, and he's the real guy who shot Ben Parker. He he's the real guy that shot um, Ben Parker, because in the first movie we all thought that there was another like another guy that um. That that shot on my the guy with the pink like like a pink pink, pink hair that ran that ran out after he robbed after he um after he he robbed the guy he robbed the guy at the from the wrestling match like give me all give me all your money right now and then boom he took all the money and he was running out and then the Flint Marco had a gun had a gun in his hand and he said and he said oh, can I sir give me your car right now and Uncle Ben said listen sir you just need to put the gun down and go home however he and he was going to but his partner ran out and. And knocked Flint Marco in the arm, and boom, the gun, the gun actually went off and shot Uncle Ben right in the chest. So yeah, and then, so the, Flint Marco was the guy who shot Uncle Ben, not the other guy. And Peter's like, oh my gosh, so we, so I, and and I think the other guy died when he, when Peter like in the first mo in the first movie, Peter kicked him kicked him out kicked him out of the window, and then, um, yeah, kicked him out of the window, and then boom. And then boom, he fell. He fell to the ground. I th I think or a uh, nearby thing. I think I think he died. However, Peter's pretty. Um, Peter and Aunt May later find this out at the um, pol police department. The uh, police department, and Peter Peter gets very um, Peter gets very um, mad. Cause he's like, oh my gosh, so I so I freakingly I freaking killed the wrong man. Now you're telling me there's there's an, there's a, a, another guy out there who's still out there who killed my uncle, and he's and he's. The, uh, the the wrong guy is dead, but the right guy is still out there, and the, and Flint Marco is also a villain named Sandman. So every now and then, like his arms get melt off into sand, um, as opposed to something, or his whole or either that or his whole, whole his freaking whole body just turns into sand, and um, or he turns into mud in the series because like um, when Peter fi when Peter finds um, Flint Marco, he's like, hey. Flint Marco, remember Ben Parker, the one that you shot in cold blood? And Flint Marco was like, "What does it matter to you?" And Peter's like, "Everything." And then boom, like they they, they fight when a oh when when a, when a nearby train comes through, they they fight, they wrestle, they tackle, and then Flint Marco ends up like drowning, like he turns into like mud water and drowns into a sewer. However, he keeps coming to life throughout the movie, and um, oh. Um, and then in a, in a, um, in a jazz scene sequence, cause, um, apparently, um, Peter and Mary Jane meet for dinner, however, Mary Jane's still upset that Peter kissed, um, Gwen Stacy that other day, and she's like, Mary Jane asks a good question, she's like, so, who, who, who really kissed Gwen Stacy that day? Spider-Man or Peter Parker? And Peter Parker's like, what are you talking about? Spider-Man, of course, and then Mary Jane's like, Mary Jane just leaves after that, she's like, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to go. And then she just, and she, she just leaves after that, leaving Peter, like, right right there in the dust. Like, oh my gosh. I guess she doesn't need his ring after all. And then he fishes it out of the champagne that was the room she's supposed to, you know. And then, um, sorry, this is why I'm, my handyman's here right now, fixing, fixing the lights anyway, so I have to be kind of quiet. But anyway, um, oh, in the jazz scene sequence, um, Peter, um, what is it? Oh, yeah. Peter briefly dates Gwen Stacy, who was Eddie Brock's um, old Eddie Brock's old girlfriend. Speaking of which, Eddie Brock was briefly the photographer for um, um, oh yeah, for um, the Daily Bugle, which was uh, the newspaper office where um, Jameson worked at, where Jameson 
hired Eddie Brock briefly to be a photographer for Spider-Man, like, for, for photography, photographing Spider-Man, you know, all around. However, there comes a time where um, Eddie Brock posts a fake picture of Spider-Man in a black Venom suit, because Eddie, Eddie Brock is a victim called Black Venom, and he posts a fake picture, and in the end, Peter finds out about it, he literally, like, he strangles Eddie, I mean, he almost strangles Eddie, gives the, um, gives the, the photo to one of, one of the editors-in-chief, and he shows it to Jameson, and boom, and then boom, Jameson's like, Jim, and you probably remember this line, Eddie, pack your things, get out of my building, you're fired, and then he, boom, he, he fires Eddie, and Peter, Peter is briefly happy, I mean, Peter is briefly happy because he's, you know, he's, he's back, he's back on the shot, like, he's back, he's got, he's got his job back, he's, he's got his photographer, photographer job back, and boom, he's, he's back on. And, oh, and in the jazz club scene where he briefly dates Gwen Stacy, um, he, they see Mary Jane there, because she works there as a singing waitress, and, um, and apparently, um, it all goes down wrong when Gwen Stacy realizes that the only reason why Peter danced with, um, Gwen Stacy was because he wanted to try and get Mary Jane to, Mary Jane back, because of the way he danced, and she leaves in embarrassment, and Mary Jane ends up getting hit by Peter, because Peter was trying to get a bouncer to stop tugging on him, make him leave the building, and he, boom, swings Mary, Mary Jane and hits, and hits her in the face, and she is like, who are you? And Peter's like... I don't know, which, and then, okay, now, I'm, I'm at 11 minutes now, so I think I should get to the ending, so basically, Venom, aka Eddie Brock, and Flint Marco team up to try and kill Spider-Man, they try to, they try, they try to, they, they want to try and kill him, so, um, Eddie Brock gets into, into a taxi, and, um, looks back, and he's like, where to, and then, when Mary Jane looks, and boom, he, be, he becomes, um, uh, uh, Venom, and and then the next thing you know, the news news reporter comes on and says, "Breaking breaking news! A freaking a freaking yellow taxi is hanging 80 feet above the ground in a spider web, in a black spider in a, or in a, in a spider web, 80 feet above the ground." And so um, Peter ends up saving Mary Jane out of the taxi before it drops and almost kills Venom. Or yeah, it didn't kill Venom yet. And Peter's like, "Venom, there's only one way to settle this." And then, however, Harry, a.k.a. the Green Goblin, which they had their fight scene, comes in and, and um, saves Peter from getting hurt. However, he literally sacrifices himself. Harry literally sacrifices himself um, when, um, oh yeah, when he, like, he, he, grabbed a, he grabbed the sword, and started, he grabs the sword and stabs it freaking in his back, and boom, um, he stabs him. He stabs himself in the back, and the sword pops out right through his stomach. So, and then he gets brutally beaten up by um, Venom before he slowly gets ex explodes, and Eddie Brock dies, and and Harry ends up dying in the end. Bec ends up dying in the end, and Peter ap apologizes. So sorry, Harry. I never should have hurt you. We're, we will be best friends through eternity. So Harry dies. Peter and Mary Jane get back together, and they also attend the funeral because they, they mourn greatly over Harry's death, and they attend the funeral, and they get back together. So that's. That was a um, a pretty good ending. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, not. I mean, it was an okay ending, but I, I kind of like the first two movie movie endings a little bit better. Because, but and, and the third third one, third movie wasn't that great, but it was it wasn't the best. But I mean, I, I it was it was pretty good. It it was pretty good, and um, oh yeah, um, so yeah, um. And, um, Sam Raimi, the director, commented saying he didn't really like the movie, how the movie turned out. He, um, Sam Raimi on IMDb said he wanted to make a, um, a, um, uh, Spider-Man, a Spider-Man 4, uh, a Spider-Man 4, but they never got around to making it because it was supposed to be made in 2011, but they never got it made, but apparently, um, didn't didn't work out that well. I mean, Toby didn't Hollywood doesn't cast Toby McGuire anymore, so it didn't work. Wouldn't work out. So so hope you enjoyed my rant over today. I am into overtime, so hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.